Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. I'm just gonna get straight into it. We are getting about 61 mega hash on the Radeon RX 5700 XT now. And the reason why we're able to get this number is because of a number of things here. We're using the soft power play tables mod from Igor's lab and we have a lot of different parameters also being used in Phoenix Miner. Uh, the latest Phoenix Miner by the way which is 4.6c which has a new optimization for the 5700 as well as we're using overdrive end tool to get this done. Global Wattman in my testing has been hit and miss pretty shoddy but now the overdrive end tool 0.28 seems to be working pretty well for me but because we're getting 61 mega hash now doesn't mean that it is the correct optimization for the kernel that we have here and I'm gonna go through and explain the different parameters we have added what type of power play mod that I used in order to get this number and what I hope for this video is to get some community feedback and as well as interaction from all of you for those that have a 5700 or 5700 XT uh, to try this out for yourself and uh, so that we can get a more bigger sample set to get more people in the community to try this out and figure out if we can get even higher uh, mega hash numbers as well as uh, more stability as well. I'm gonna keep this mining window open for Phoenix Miner and we're probably gonna see later on some accepted shares and some rejected shares. But now I just wanna talk about before, before I begin, I found all this information out from Discord members, uh, the community, Igor, Igor Walosek, I can't say his name, I probably butchered his name, but he's the one who introduced the soft power play tables for the 5700 XT. And as well as, um, I, I got this information initially from Serpent X Special Forces and Son of Attack as well. So Son of Attack did a video on how to do the soft power play table mod on the 5700 XT. And then Serpent reminded me of all of this stuff and we've been testing out and doing this kind of stuff as well. Yeah, and they also have, I also have all the links for everything down below in case you guys want to check out their videos. A lot of testing has been done. And as well, you guys probably saw my video a couple weeks ago, I did the 5700 XT Ethereum hash rate and I was able to get about 51 to 52 mega hash initially. But now, we are able to get 61. Now, I'm going to talk about a parameter here that we were able to implement and I want to thank Jose Vora for telling me this parameter here that he's been testing and we've been testing together and we can see here this parameter right here open cl local work 128 it was initially 64 so i'm going to show you guys what what happens when i change this parameter here it's going to change the pra the mega hash number so what this parameter does and what i think is coinciding with amd uh, definition here um, let's just read here Global work size. OpenCL does not explicitly limit the number of work groups that can be submitted with a, uh, here's the command, uh, the hardware limits the available in-flight threads, but OpenCL SDK automatically partitions a large number of work groups into smaller pieces that the hardware can process. For some larger workloads, the amount of memory available to the GPU can be, lim can be a limitation. The problem might require so much memory capacity that the GPU cannot hold it all, in these cases, the programmer must partition the workload into multiple, uh, long name command, the available device memory can be obtained by querying CL device info. Um, and then there's more definition here. Work items in the same work group can share data through LDS memory and you also use high speed local atomic operations. Thus, larger work groups enable more work items to efficiently share data in which reduce the amount of slower global communication. However, large work groups reduce the number of global work groups in which the small workloads could result in idle compute units. Generally, large work groups are better as long as the global range is enough to provide one to two work groups for each compute unit in the system. For small workloads, it generally works best to reduce the work group size in order to avoid idle compute units. Okay, so let's go back here. You, can, you guys can see here, I have two accepted shares now um, and one incorrect share. So, 
what we've kind of boiled down to is the the compute units and the work size local work OpenCL local work we tried 64 we're still we're still getting incorrect shares but we're still getting accepted shares as well but then we tried 128 but we're getting higher mega hash but we're also getting accepted shares and incorrect shares so i think there is an optimization here that can be done better for the miners here especially on phoenix miner and maybe Claymore Miner as well. So this is just something I'm kind of um, speculating. I'm not even sure if this is what correlates to the issue that I'm having, but we are able to see a higher mega hash number here at uh, 100 watts, as you guys can see. <laughs> uh, uh, the total system right now is 156 watts, and it's just it's just utterly amazing how efficient this this card is. And I, I would like to gauge the community if you guys could try this out as well. So what I, what I did, uh, I guess I didn't really explain how I did all this, but I have all the parameters here for Phoenix Miner. I installed the latest AMD driver, okay, the 19.9.2. And as well, I'm using Overdrive N tool, and you guys can see I'm using 1400 core, 825 MV. Um, 915 memory. That's the max memory that I could go. I tried going 120. I, I was getting one little bit higher mega hash, but it wasn't stable for me. Some people in the community were able to get 940 memory. So hit apply and it's I'm, I'm getting 61 mega hash. And I forgot to mention the power play tables that I'm using is the even more power 5700 XT underscore 1250. Okay. I don't know if this is the one that's giving me this number. I, I, it's a combination of a lot of stuff here that I'm using. Also, this parameter here, OpenCL Global Multiplier 4096. So if I wasn't using these parameters, I would then be getting 52 mega hash, okay? I'm going to show you guys something now. So you guys can see, yeah, still getting 61 mega hash, four accepted shares, one incorrect share at around eight minutes so far. I'm going to close it. I'm gonna edit this to 64 okay now I want you guys to see a difference here so I was getting 61 mega hash now we're gonna be getting 58 mega hash and it's just going to run up here creating the DAG 56 mega hash 58 okay so there we go and I was doing this testing for about an hour or so more and I was getting incorrect shares but more so accepted shares. Now I wonder if that's due because of the work sizes uh, that's that's going to the to the kernel. Um, so if that probably could be optimized better I'm, ex I'm, I'm also I'm also wondering if we're using all 40 compute units. Phoenix Miner is showing 40 CUs but I know in Claymore we were showing 20 CUs but you know, I'm not really sure how much we're using. Maybe Bitsby Trippin or anyone else in the community can figure that out. I'm gonna be doing more testing, but I just wanted to give this information for you guys that these parameters here, you guys can see here, is what I've been using uh, in order to get these numbers uh, for my 5700, okay? So that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Anything you guys want to know, please let me know in the comments. I'll have all this information in the description, all of the links and everything. So please let me know. Um, this is this is an awesome number to see. And definitely thanks to a lot of different members of the community, especially Igor, Igor's lab here, everyone else in the community contributing, Serpent X Special Forces. Everyone, please go subscribe to him. I'll have him linked down below. As well as Son of Attack. He's done an amazing job showcasing the soft power play table. Uh, so you guys can go watch that video. But if you guys want to implement it, implement it, it's the, the simplest thing is to download these soft power play tables, and all you have to do is double click on them and it'll just enter in, into the registry for you, okay? So that's pretty much it. Um, anyways, guys, let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys for watching. Smash the like button, all that good stuff. Subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.